Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Arc Reactors. I'm John. I'm Greg. And we are in Germany, baby, sweeping the nation with another win uh, on this week's episode of The Amazing Race. Yeah, yeah, two two in a row, doing the thing, two in a row. Um, yeah, let's get right into it, starting kind of with the travel we had, leaving India, getting to Germany, which they didn't show pretty much any of. Like, we ripped that clue in India, maybe got our ticket in India, and then just kind of just showed up at Frankfurt, which is pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, I mean, again, that's the craziest thing about the show is that, you know, we're like, that was maybe like a day's worth of travel, like truly 24 hours of just pure travel. And yeah, none of, none of it gets shown. That's, that's crazy. Just a little line. I don't even know if they did the line. I don't even remember them doing the line from India to, to, uh, what's it called? Germany. But say la vie, yeah, huh? I don't know. Say la vie. Yeah. Yeah, some fun things along that route. We stopped in Mumbai for a layover. Saw CeeLo Green. He was on a flight, I think, to Thailand. And uh, we managed to find some public computers, got some information from Germany there. Um, that's like the first time I had like free internet, looked up if Zendaya and Tom Holland were still together. Um, yeah, just like made our way through. And then we got to Frankfurt and you see us get in the cars, but... It was so much driving to get to this this hot cow, and we didn't know where we were going from a good amount of the time. Yeah, I mean, it was. It was I, I really liked coming out of the parking garage because one, it was the first time doing a self drive leg, so we were pretty excited. Especially after coming after, especially after coming from India and having those tough tuk tuk drivers, it was nice to have the directions in our own hands. If we get lost, we get lost. It's on us, which. It's just kind of how we want to, just how we kind of want to do it. But we did get lost pretty much immediately because we got on the highway, <laughs> we had our directions. We obviously in, in in India and on the whole plane ride, we were asking people for directions. We were writing down very because we had you know twenty four hours to get these directions, and we kind of knew where we were going to go when we landed. So we wrote exactly where the directions were. And what did we get lost in like the third turn? <laughs> like we did literally maybe exit. the second turn. I think the second turn. <laughs> I didn't know that there yeah. were teams behind us, but Todd and Ashley were in front of us, and we just see them turn right, and we keep going left. Um, and the, yeah, that just took us for a whirl. We ended up in some random little—I can't even call it a town. It was just like a neighborhood. Got directions from there. We tried getting off the autobahn and ended up on another one. Uh, it was really confusing. They kept going for forever, right? Because like we tried to get off earlier, but the autobahns, the exits every like ten miles or something. So once you commit, yeah. you're committed. Yeah, driving in Germany is no joke for for real. We did end up uh, catching up with Todd and Ashley and Stephen and Ali at some point during the drive, though, which was really like comforting. We lost them again, and we didn't see them until we got back to the ferry. But it's just interesting in the race how it really does just kind of leapfrog in random moments. Yeah. No, it really does. Because and and it feels good too. Because when you're really lost, you're thinking, okay, I'm the only one that's lost, or we're the only ones that's lost, and everyone else is there, and they've already started the challenge. But then, yeah, you get yeah. to your destination, and you see everyone else there, and you're like, oh yeah, I forgot they're human too. They don't know exactly how to do directions without Google Maps either. So. Right. <laughs> Just good feeling. Exactly. Yeah. I, yeah. I, you kind of assume like, oh, everybody's probably perfect and knows where they're going, and you forget that we're all literally all of us are going through the same like process um and so seeing them always reminds you of that and so we had one yeah. detour like on a, on a highway we had to literally get off go into a town come back on and then the really gnarly one was when we were pretty close to Kalb and the like riverside highway we were supposed to take just ended and google maps did not account for this and we like were asking people for directions and it told us to go up into the woods and then do this like 30 minute detour around. Um, it, it, that was definitely the scariest part of the race so far. Yeah, yeah, because John and I, we had gotten directions from this random couple. You know, we just pulled off on the side because everybody was lost. Everybody was, and not everybody, but most teams were there at that point. And there was a literal roadblock and they literally want us to do a detour, which we had never heard. Not and we could years. see teams coming back, like Morgan Lena were coming back. We saw um, Joel and Garrett at some point, yep. Yeah. And there's, we, so we got some random directions. We just pull off the side and some guy looks up on his phone. He was like, okay, you're just going to go like around this mountain, like through these woods. And the entire time Johnny and I are just pr like 
praying. <laughs> like, because there's no way to turn around. It's just like a one way throughout these like deep, deep woods. And it said, keep going straight. So we were just like, all right, we're going to keep going straight. And it fell. And what did we first see? We saw like a sign that said where we were going to go or something. We we saw a sign that said the name of the town that another dude we asked for directions said. And so we we initially asked for one guy while we were waiting for this like train to pass. And he like didn't have a phone on him while he's driving. But he was like, oh, you just like go through this town. And we're like, okay, thanks, guy. And then immediately go to these Australians for directions. But like this guy came through because we were in the woods. We didn't we did not know where to go next. Like we did not know left, right, anything. No people. And all of a sudden that little sign comes on. That's our little North Star. We just <laughs> take it like the three wise men, just just chugging down the path until we get to like the town he was talking about, asks we asked some DHL driver and we were on the right path. Yeah, it it almost reminds me of like like if a plane, if you're riding on an airplane and like, you know, you have gas, you have fuel, you have fuel, and then you run out of fuel. Like you're like, I don't know what to do right now. You mm-hmm. literally just have to glide for a little bit and just like pray that you can wait until like you can land to the and so at that point we were gliding. Like we had no we had no directions, no idea where we were going. But we made it. We made it. Yeah. We didn't end up like we we made it. On. We, yeah. I, I not all of made it. Oh, no. understood them heavily. heavily. That was tough. That was tough. I mean, self driving is is you know it's good. Feels good to have it in your own hands, but I mean, especially coming after what six legs at that point of like taxis, yeah. it, it's it's a big shift. Yep, and we got kind of lucky because when we got to the ferry, we could see the other four teams already on the ferry, so we knew we were at the right place. Versus Robin and Chelsea and Philly Johns, who might have just seen an empty ferry and thought, well, this could be it. This could not be it. We had that confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. It goes back to not being the first team, not being the first team really, yeah. really helps, but yeah. it was a little disheartening because we pulled up to the ferry, like as soon as all the other teams were already on the ferry and pulling off to go to the other side of the river. So all we could do mm-hmm. is just watch them leave. Like all we, all, all we knew that it was going to be, and we asked how long it took for the, boat to go back and forth and he said like 15 minutes or so so we're like all right well we are 15 minutes behind maximum which isn't a terrible feeling but you know if we were just just a little bit there before but again wouldn't change a thing yep it felt even better with rob and Corey coming up behind us and we really embraced each other on the boat i remember just like each other hyping each other out because we all knew how tough that that drive was so that felt really good we got our little monies we even when we crossed, we, like Rob, Corey, and us, we were driving, and we ended up at the wrong castle. There's another one that sounds exactly like Bert Reinstein. It was like Bert Renston or something. Um, so when we went to the wrong one, but it, it was like a five minute detour, not that bad. Yeah, yeah. And then we pull up to the actual castle. It was, it was a steep uphill. It was a pretty steep uphill. I remember being quite tired at the top, and then we were <laughs> we were deciding who was going to do it, and we saw people rappelling. I had already done something with heights, so it was Johnny's turn to do something with heights. But then also, I was exhausted. Like going up that steep uphill, I was like, "You, you got it, bro. That's all you." <laughs> and yeah, we saw the people rappelling exactly, and we thought, "I was like, what are we going to do with this change?" Obviously, the challenge is the heights thing, but it was like a little combo, and it wasn't that bad. Um, I think for everyone, it couldn't have taken them more than 10 minutes. Um, for me, maybe like three or four. Um, yeah, just like mixed up my numbers at one point, but um, ended up really good. Corey was able to to jump right past and um, rappel down, which was fun. I, I, looking back, I did not go that fast. I really took my time. Um, and I just forgot for a moment that it wasn't a race, but that's okay. It works out that way. Yeah, you're, you're, I mean, you're always free. Even when I was on the, the Biltmore, like, I kind of thought I was speeding, and I look back on it, I'm like, I am moving. Um, like, Okay, fast. good. Okay, so I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> when you're doing that height stuff, you're, you're taking your time. Your body is, like, off the clock for a second. It's like, all right, let me focus on this. Yeah. Yeah, time, is, time, is, time means nothing when you're doing it. And then we were able to find a lovely German couple with enough English to ask the bar of their phone. And we look it up. We put in the direct the directions for cone, cone. as we would call it. Cone is cone, and it was it's like cone. two and a half hours away. Like we were, we were shocked. We were shocked. We were shocked. We had to look it up multiple times. We were like, "Okay, you're sure this is cone? C O or K O H N?" And he was like, "Yeah, this is cone," and he, and he knew it too. Like even before we looked it up, we were like, "Yeah, we're trying to go mm-hmm. to cone," and he was like, oh. <laughs> "Like y'all sure?" So it was, it was a while. <laughs> Well, we got it was a good direction, especially nice after because then 
it was good directions yeah we really took our time with that one yep We're, we had like i think that was the first time we drew the actual turns we like wrote down and then had like google maps-esque like forks and everything which was kind of familiar we um had already driven for like an hour and a half so for the race to ask to do another two and a half it was really the leg that kept on legging it was pretty long yeah that was a long leg of just driving but yeah i mean it's kind of fun to see our directions change over time because the way that we've evolved the way that we evolved with taking directions got better and better and this this one was the the best directions that we took because that that this is what saved us this round this is what got us from whatever sixth place that we were in up to first like these directions right here and we saw so then we'll just touch on on the the the, the following thing i mean i guess we we saw robin robin and chelsea behind us and they had finished and then they kind of tagged behind us and yeah I mean, it was, we, we were kind of indifferent about it like we didn't re i guess we didn't really care all that much that they were following like we were just so focused on our own heads that you know right. we didn't know yeah uh, it's like we didn't know if we would get there correctly or not there's a world where we got lost so i think looking back it makes sense to kind of look at them the wrong way but at the time who, who says is that the right or wrong decision yeah and we even talked about it right like that's a risk that they take too you know like they, they fully just put yep. trust in us you know we yeah exactly we could have been completely wrong so not not too indifferent but they got lucky they got lucky because we showed up first baby Are you kidding me Are you kidding me we were so amped to see that we were the first team especially since first we got there and you can see everybody else really struggling to find this parking garage which we did too we and they were all one-way streets around this very clustered square like it would take time to keep circling so we did one circle and came back and we knew we were right on top of it because we asked people for their phones and so at some point i just suggested we just like search on foot and so rob and chelsea went one way we went the other um we found it told rob and chelsea to come with us and then as we exit the parking garage we see morgan and lena going at it in the streets like it, 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 they still didn't even put it in the show but they're still kind of bickering about how to get to this garage yeah yeah, and it was it was funny because we we pulled up, you know, we had just parked our car. We were like, okay, now it's time for a challenge. And we saw Morgan and Lena, and we were like, you know, we saw them asking someone for directions. We were like, dag, it's some sort of like asking people for directions around town and trying to find random things. And we were like, ah, oh, we're already behind. They look like they're in the thick of it. We were so worried. And then we went up to them. We were like, oh, is it a hard challenge? And they turned around. And they were like, we haven't even found the garage yet. <laughs> which which was a big which was a, the first big relief because. We didn't even see them all day. I think they left before we yeah. even showed up to the castle. So yeah. felt, we felt, like felt, had felt. imagined that we saw them behind us while driving, like in a little in a little tale of us, Rob and Chelsea, them. We were totally wrong. I don't know what we saw. Yeah. 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 But yeah, so we, we pull up to the to the uh ballroom of some sort. I guess it, it was a museum or something along those lines. Um, you know, we have watch parties every week and every time there's some route info, especially this one, mainly just this one, they're like, oh, that doesn't seem that hard. And I'm like, that's not the point of this. Like, it's not difficult. It's just truly just for the fun. Like, it's just, it's just a route info. It's just something that you just do. And this one, this one was, it was the best part of the race so far. It was, it was, it mm -hmm. was incredible. Yeah. Yeah. And just so wacky. So wacky. We put on those clothes. I, I, I don't think we really knew what was on the other side of that we could hear some music going on but just like a nice little surprise thank you uh amazing race planners for that yeah, yeah yeah it almost felt like a celebration for us getting there first like we were already so excited mm -hmm. yeah we were there first. totally we, we were already hyped and so that was just like us celebrating throwing flowers hitting that horse <laughs> totally yeah yeah <laughs> that was great that was great great music too can't believe they hired all those people like all those people they like I know. They put out yeah. a casting call. Like that's just that's high production. That's high production. Appreciate. Yeah, it. yeah. That's that's what we come for. And I still got my uh, medal in the back somewhere. Mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's critical. After the carnival, we ended up. Um, yeah, still with still with Robin and Chelsea. We all went to a bridge. We they, they the next part was telling us that we had to go to the bridge. The rest of the leg was on foot, so we had to we had to run everywhere. And and we didn't know exactly which part of the bridge either like i think we had found the bridge at mm -hmm. some point but we didn't know like which side we needed to be on like the yeah. bridge is i don't know like 
quarter mile long or something along those lines. Like we didn't know exactly where we needed to be along that bridge. So it was, it was, it was kind of tough finding it after, after a little bit. So then, yeah, we found it. We pull up and I think the roadblock said um, we, that since you did, or since one partner did one, the other partner had to do the other. So I knew I was going to do this one. I was a little nervous to do this one at the very beginning, just because I thought it was going to be another one like the tiles. Oh be yeah. Another. Cause it is a needle in a haystack. I was really shocked that we were doing another roadblock. I just remember my jaw hitting the floor, but also felt relieved <laughs> that you had to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's kind of how I felt about the tiles. When I found when I saw it was a roadblock, I was like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, but it it really wasn't it really wasn't that difficult. Like a lot of the challenges we had to do that day weren't all that difficult. This one maybe took the most amount of time because it was like a needle in the haystack one, but it wasn't too crazy. I mean, I think the the strat was just not to look too deep into the locks, and I I don't know if I said it on the show or not, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, they're not going to be in, incredibly detailed with it. Like, it's not going to be some little lock that's behind a lock. Like, they were going to be pretty big. And I think Robin was looking pretty closely. Um, but yeah, the the one sad part was when I found the Spain flag, <laughs> which is funny because I hit that. I, mean, I, I guess it's just one of those things. I was like, oh, got it. And I was sure it was it because it was the exact same flag as the Amazing Race. And then I started inspecting it a little bit more, and it was like uh, – like it started saying some stuff in Spanish, and I was like, "Oh, this is the Spain flag. This is not the Amazing Race." <laughs> I had to keep from. I had to keep yeah, from. I hadn't known that happened until I watched it on TV. And I love your got it. Your got it is just so confident. It's like, all right, we're moving forward. It's not a huge celebration. It's just like <laughs> stellar. Let's do this. Yeah, um, yeah but it was, yeah, it was sad to see that it was it was uh, it was a fake out. I do see a lot of people do that too, though. Like I see a lot of people. Like mm. I, I feel like in past seasons, I see people like exclaim a lot more they're like whoa we got it like oh there it is i feel like a lot of people this season are like oh thank goodness oh like it's more relief than it is like excitement mm. which i don't know yeah i feel that i feel that yeah well thankfully you found it first i was so happy to hear that uh we're back in a solid first from robin and chelsea starting to like split from them and we rip and it's a detour this again this just keeps going on and we can either kick darts or we can taste mustard and i think we decided on mustard just because it was more of a memorization challenge which we were pretty strong at and like I, other people other teams chose darts because they had some familiarity throwing darts but this seemed very much like a soccer challenge from watching it back like who cares if your arm can throw this is about your feet <laughs> yeah yeah i mean like maybe it's still like the same rules as darts so you have a little leg up that you mm -hmm. don't have to learn rules and i guess like cory like it helped cory at the end knowing darts because then he knew like okay i don't run up and do it i just take out all the variables and just kick the ball so there is a little bit of help but you're right like true it's not a true mm -hmm. but it was a nice little run to the mustard we got there they had their cute little stands and we just got that to chow down. I mean, you all saw it. Like, it, it was helpful to do that on a bit of an empty stomach. Because even by the end, I was getting a little full. I don't know about you. Oh, I was very full by the end. I mean, it, which is funny because it was, it, you know, you start off with a few things of mustard. You don't know how long it's necessarily going to take. So we were doing like spoonsfuls of mustard at the beginning. And then after you start trying them after a while, because one taste is not enough to concrete it in your head. So you have to try it multiple, multiple, multiple times. So we started just doing like little licks. Like, you know, we'd get a spoon and we'd just go like. Yeah. <laughs> just to savor, savor the taste. Yeah. And I remember needing just enough that I can feel whatever spiciness was hitting. Like I needed enough to make that impact. But like you're saying, not too much that I'm starting to get filled. Apparently, Anna Lee was having like full spoonfuls every single time, which not for me. Not for me. No, not for me. Not for me. Well, but it, was, it, was, it was a fun challenge, especially mm -hmm. knowing that we were in first. Like, all we had to do was memorize nine mustards, and we had first place in the bag. Like, that's that was, it was yep. a good feeling at that point. Yep, which is exactly what happened. Uh, when we got our bratwursts, were they? Um, we ended up just giving them to some American tourists who helped us with directions to the mat. And, yeah, we met up with Phil and... The Baron of Lies, which was <laughs> really trippy to hear on the mat. <laughs> that was the weirdest part of the race. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, I thought they would maybe, I don't know, like dub it over or something. But that's exactly what he said. Yeah, he was like, he got on a cannon and then got on another cannon and 
yeah, that's the story. <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> You're like, okay, Phil, where are you going with this? <laughs> but well, we thought we thought that we maybe have to remember it for later or something. We thought it was gonna mm-hmm. be like, so we were like, okay, whoa, 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 whoa what's going on? But That's yeah. so true. Because we've seen in the past, the greeters on the mat have been part of like a final challenge or something. So we thought, okay, well, if we were ever getting that situation, um, let's write that down. So we ended up writing down each of these greeters and what they were saying. But also like when you're first, you hit the mat, you're digesting, but you're also just looking forward to what Phil's going to say, what you've won. So um, it, it's a bit of a, a balance. I've definitely had legs in the, like, I think India where, yeah, we just like did not really digest what was on the map yeah yeah definitely um yeah yeah. hit him hit us with the first uh which one oh yeah we won four thousand dollars each this time i love the each Mm -hmm. like they didn't have to do the each but but they did the each appreciate that yeah appreciate that a lot appreciate it yeah yep and now we're off to the uh slovenia leg which they've been advertising so hard new country new country new us new country new us you know that's how it goes. But also old us, because old us is doing okay so far. Yeah, yeah, gotta keep gotta keep old us in there. And also, okay, if we're wrapping up this episode, um, I think season thirty six just came out. Or season thirty yeah, six. Yeah, is six out. is announced, yeah, for March, which is like wow. <laughs> this stuff moves quickly. It really does. Yeah. Yeah, they pump them out. Yeah, it's it's funny because you feel you know you feel like the bell of the ball. You feel like you know you're the most important racer ever, and then they're like, "Nope, new season, <laughs> new season." Where are the rumors? We're trying to like find the cast. I'm like, okay, little old me, I'll go back into my corner. <laughs> <laughs> Fade off into the distance. But... Yeah. Cool. We still got some some Slovenia left though, so we'll enjoy it next week. This week. And it, it should be a fun one. It was it was tough, but it, it was tough and fun. It'll be good. Well, cool. Yep. Well, thanks. Thanks for Catch joining. Thanks for joining. Enjoy the episode. Maybe see you next week. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. I don't know.